What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we've got another fun toy line for you. Another cool action figure. Guys, if you were born in the uh, late 70s and the 80s, you will remember this fantastic toy, this fantastic action figure. Today, for your viewing pleasure, guys, we bring you the Super 7 toy line Masters of the Universe He-Man. This is a a figure that's that's been reproduced by the Super Seven uh, Incorporation that's making uh, making these beautiful toys. Um, this is from um, 2018, and the Super Seven toy line has brought this toy line back to us um, very retro um, these figures almost look identical to the the Mattel toy line uh, that came out in the early 1980s um, beautiful job not quite six feet uh, six six uh, inches tall I believe these are um, roughly about uh, maybe five five and a half uh, inches tall. I found this uh, He-Man figure, Masters of the Universe figure, in my uh, local uh, toy and game exchange. And they had him listed at $20, but we, we only paid about $9 uh, for this figure. This figure is in fantastic condition. I've always been a, a huge fan of He-Man and uh, like I mentioned in my um, past video that I, you know, we're, we're, we are a museum. Um, we we want to get into different toy lines. This was a toy line that growing up in the 1980s, uh, you know, I, I never got this toy for Christmas. He-Man, uh, these toys were produced between, uh, by Mattel between 1982 and 1988. So I was a teenager for the, uh, for the, the latter end of this, this toy line. But uh, I've seen these, these figures, um, the vintage He-Man figures, masters, masters of the universe figures, uh, go for, uh, just, untold amounts of money especially in this condition as you can see this is hasn't even been punched unpunched guys you can't see it but underneath this exchange sticker it's an adult collectible so it, it's definitely an adult collectible it's like i said it's been basically reproduced painstakingly reproduced almost to the very exact likeness from the package to the figure and to the articles of, uh, I'll get you in there. You see, he's got his shield. And I'll tell you what he has. He's even got the, the figures, uh, the figure, uh, twist for it. Power punch, the old power punch. Guys, if you just join us, welcome to the MIB Master Toy Museum. Um, we're here unveiling another uh, toy line here at the museum um, that we're going to be collecting. It's the Super 7 uh, Masters of the Universe. And today we're bringing you He-Man. I did pick a few of uh, these Masters of the Universe figures up. I couldn't pass up on the price and the condition. Whoever 
had this at one point in their collection, literally never touched it. Literally never touched it. The card, everything is in fantastic, fantastic condition. Let's turn this figure around. Let's get you a quick year here. Two thousand eighteen Super Seven Retail Incorporation, and I guess they're working in con in conjunction with Mattel. Get you blown out. Look at the back of that card. Guys, what do you think of our Masters in the Universe Super Seven? He-Man action figure. Uh, do you have this figure? That's where you can get, you can go on super7.com. Um, you can find these figures. If you don't have them, you can find them. She-Ra, He-Man, Skeletor, Hordak. Hero. <laughs> now that's a, there's a different one. Elder. Eldor. And here's how you twist his waist and he swings back with a punch. I had a cousin that during this time period at the, the 82, 83 years, um, 1982, 1983, around that, that time, during Christmas, uh, my cousin um, had a ton of these under the Christmas tree. And I just remember thinking how cool these really were. They're not, not as quite as tall as, uh, as Amigo, but definitely bulkier. Um, the paint job on these are beautiful. Armor on He Man. This comes with a, a couple of swords, power swords there, and a half sword. He's got a shield over here. Everything is encased in plastic here. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, like I said, I've always uh, loved He Man been a big fan uh i am in the process of looking for a vintage one um, i know that's going to cost me a uh some money but i want a uh a vintage he-man uh check um uh, open by by chance and lady pop hunter uh, lady pop hunter has one of the most beautiful Masters of the Universe collections you'll, you'll ever see. I mean, she has pretty much everything that you can think of regarding He-Man and a Masters of the Universe. Her channel was one of the channels that I originally started to, uh, to, to really um, fall back in love with He-Man. Uh, because like I said, I've been, I'm into G.I. Joe and so many other toy lines. Uh, but watching that her channel and and watching and seeing all of those fantastic masters of the universe action figures, you know, I just I told myself at, at some point I have to start adding the masters of the universe toy line um, to our museum. You just don't have a toy line or toy collection if you don't have a few masters of the universe toys in it. I'd give you all this. A great head sculpt on this figure. Uh, we know uh, for for those of you who don't really have a background history of uh, Masters in the Universe, um, this was a, a filmation cartoon. That the toys just took off immediately. Um, very popular uh, selling toy. Uh, 
uh, He-Man's uh, alter ego is uh, Prince, Prince Adam. And with the, uh, the power sword changes him into this almost mythical, iconic superhero that you see before you, He-Man. Really cool cartoon. I used to watch it all the time. Still do. Like I said, we're going to be bringing more of these guys to you. Uh, we're excited about it. Like I said, we're going to be adding uh, vintage Masters of the Universe uh, figures as well as the Super 7. The Super 7 uh, figures, obviously, they, they are absolutely the closest thing that you can get to a, a vintage figure from this, this toy line. Um, there's a lot of um, different He-Man figures out there, but they're 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 more modern. Uh, so I, I always wanted the, you know, wanted a vintage one. And when Super Seven announced that they would be bringing these out, I absolutely positively said, you know, if I ever get one, out, it'll be a Super Seven figure. It just so happens that uh, my toy and game exchange had a few of these figures and there's no way I could leave them on a toy store shelf over there even the vintage retro light card that it came on back in the 1980s the old as seen on TV Add there. Um, just beautifully done. He's got a cart behind him, maybe with some information on it. A booklet. Um, this is a beautiful job. So, like I said, we'll definitely be adding more uh, to our to our uh, museum collection. Guys, I'd like to thank you for hanging out with us. You know the routine, guys. God bless. And keep 